everybody, Ross here in the yarn room. Time to talk yarn, and we're gonna talk yarn that you can get from Timu. So, just so you are aware, and I'm gonna announce this, Timu did send me this yarn at no cost. Um, they reached out to me, wanted to know if I wanted to do a video for them with their yarns, and I said yes. I am a big fan of Timu. I have shopped on Timu probably more than I should, and I've got all kinds of things from Timu. I think I started shopping with them about five months ago, back in April, and it's been a steady stream of st little Timu packages showing up, I feel like every few days, but I'm getting all kinds of things from Timu. Yarn, um, diamond painting stuff, clothing, stuff around the house, just whatever I can think of. I'll hop on Timu, search if they have it, if they like it, I will order it, and it usually shows up here. Usually pretty quick within a week or two weeks at the most, so that's really impressive. Um, so if you're kind of wondering like what's the turnaround time for your orders, most of my orders I get within that one to two week time period of ordering them. So that's pretty good considering it's coming from overseas. So anyways, this video we're going to talk about yarn and some of the different yarns Timu has. So I went through and picked out a bunch of stuff that I liked. Um, a lot of this yarn, I tried to get two of like one of one color, one of another color. So maybe one I could knit, one I could crochet and show you what it looks like in the future. Um, so that's kind of like what I was thinking when I picked out these yarns. And also, if you've never used Timu and you want to get the app, I have a link down below you can click on to download the app. Also, if you are a new user or an existing current user of Timu, if you search Joy9924, you will find a $100 coupon bundle. Also, you'll see links to all these items that I um, picked out. or They'll show up right there in the app and you can click on it and add to your cart if you see something you like and you use Timu, just search Joy9924 and you can see what I have here. I'll also have links to the items in the description box below this video. Also, I'll have that code down below in the link to Timu. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, go check it out. I love Timu and I can't wait to show you the yarns they sent me. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna get this package opened up kind of sort it out, get everything kind of straightened out to what's what so I can do a very good job. So I can do a good job of explaining and showing you what I have and not have to like fumble around with pages trying to figure out what's what. So I'm going to kind of do that all ahead of time. So when we come back, when you see me again, we'll be talking about yarn. So I'll have everything ready to go. So hold tight. Okay. Are you ready to see the yarns? There are a lot of yarns we're going to look at here and make sure you got yourself a beverage. I got myself a cup of coffee here to get me through this. So I took all the yarn that was in that Timu bag and I probably overdid this, but I just wanted to be very organized to give you guys all the information about this yarn and like the price, the yardage, uh, the weight, fiber content, all that. Um, so I actually unbagged everything I create a spreadsheet here I have in front of me that has all this information. I have all the website pages pulled up and I have like, I went through and like created labels for everything so I could easily figure out what it is. Because some of this yarn they sent, um, the yarn itself has no ball band. So it's like, what is this? Thankfully, like there's a little sticker like they have for their information that I can kind of reference to what I picked out. Um, but that Timu bag that I showed you earlier, I now have in here in this bag. I ordered this from Timu a while ago. I like these. They have all different kinds of storage bags like this and it is full of yarn. You can see in there that I have gone through and labeled and everything to make it easier for myself. So you ready? Here we go. Um, I'll have links to all these items down below. I'll also have um, a number I'm going to reference, so then I'm going to also number it down below. So if you say, hey, I liked yarn number 16 that Ross showed. If you scroll down, I'll have number 16 and a link to it, so you can kind of find it easier. Um, I know it's a lot easier for me to do it this way. So first off, we're going to look at the first yarn they sent. And like I said, a lot of these yarns I picked like two different colors. So one I could knit with, one I could crochet with and see what it's like. So first off we ordered, or what I selected was, um, 
uh, the Timu site, it's called 100 gram roll, gradient wool, medium thick thread, suitable for scarves, hats, and clothing weaving. This is $5.98. This is number one. Here's a little label I created. Number one, gradient 100 gram, $5.98. It is color DJ05 and it's called Rainbow Wool Yarn, is what like the ball band says. So we got rainbow wool yarn, soft, fluffy, comfortable. Look at the colors on this. I just love the colors. So this is a very, very fuzzy yarn. Um, fiber content is non-existent on the label or on the website. Um, my guess, this is some kind of maybe a blend of wool and nylon or acrylic, or I'm not even sure what it is. So that is the one thing I have a problem with some stuff on Timu for if you're doing yarn shopping. You know, some stuff is clearly labeled what it is, and what's on the label matches what you receive, or what's on the website matches the label you receive. Some stuff different was like had different had conflicting stuff. Other stuff just had nothing at all. So I would like to know what I'm getting, and this is something where I'm not sure what the fiber is. Thankfully, I don't have any allergies to like different fiber content stuff. So. If you're making something for yourself and you have a fiber allergy or for somebody else, might not be a good place to get yarn just because it's a mystery for what actually this yarn is. Um, all I know is that it is 100 grams and according to the page, like there's an image I found that said 100 grams for 364 yards in this yarn. And that's about all I know. But it is really cool looking. It's $5.98. Here is what the yarn looks like. So it's kind of like a chain yarn. You can kind of kind of see it there, right? Or is that just the twist? That could be just the twist. I'm sorry. It just it looks cool though, and I really like the look of it. They have like the color examples on their site, the different like color how it looks up when it's knitted. All the different color changes. So it's like a gradual color change one. So that's really cool. So I got this color here, this is DJ05, and I actually weighed the cake, and it weighs 101 grams, so that is right on. Um, so I noticed a lot of these, it doesn't give you what the yarn weight is, whether it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 weight yarn. So like I just kind of had to like guess by looking at it when I was shopping, it's like just from my experience with the yarns, okay, 100 grams. 364, this would be like a number one, maybe two weight yarn, a heavy one, like into the two weight. Um, so that's kind of like, or even to a three weight. Yeah, like I should look in this, this is a chain construction yarn. I can kind of see it better there. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna look at there, so that's how that is. So it's super fluffy, really cool yarn, 598, but I can't tell you what the fiber content is because it's nowhere on their site or on the ball band. So. That's like the one drawback with ordering yarn on Timu is I'm not really sure what I'm getting as um, far as like what the fiber content is. For me, that's okay. It's I don't, Like I said, I don't have any allergies and stuff, so it, it's fine with me. But if you're someone that does have allergies or like skin sensitivity, it might be an issue. Um, but I like that one. So number this is number one on the list down below, color DJ05. It's that blue color. So... In the same yarn, I grabbed, um, this would be number two on the list, DJ04 is this color. And this is like pinks and yellows. So a really cool looking yarn. So I love it, I love that. I just, I wish I knew more about this yarn. And you'll find that be a kind of a, a, a constant thing running with this, these yarns. It's a lot of air mysteries, but it is really cool super soft so and this one when I weighed the cake it weighed 109 grams so we got a little bit extra there so that is number one I'll throw these into a bin so it's kind of organized when I'm done here okay so on to the next ah what do I got going on here So this one, we had all the information, which was nice. Um, 
Oh, there's all that. So I have these two balls here, these two different colors. So one we got kind of like primary colors, and one we got like pastel colors, bright pastels. So we got here, as you can see from my label, number three and number four on the list is colorful acrylic yarn. It was a dollar ninety nine each for these balls. Um, they're 45 grams and I noticed a lot of these yarns if they do give you kind of like the amount of yarn you get as far as like the yardage it's done in inches instead of being in yards it's all done in inches which is this is 5,118 inches which that equates to be about uh, 142 yards so you pretty much just take that number divide by 36 because there's 36 inches in a yard and we get our yardage. So 100, 142 yards, uh, 45 grams. So this is also, we know this is a acrylic yarn. It says in one of the images 100% acrylic. I remember seeing somewhere. Yeah, there's an image, there's 100% acrylic yarn. And it actually feels really, really nice, really, really soft. Um, so $1.99 for 45 grams. So if you figure kind of like a full skein of yarn that you buy at the store here, um, be about maybe 100 grams for like usually 3 or $4. So this is right on price point with that. I know some of these yarns going through, it's like, this is kind of high price. Some of it's like good deal. I would say this is like an average deal yarn right here. A really cool acrylic colorways. Nice bright colors. Uh, the color name on this is called the Brilliant Yellow. Is what they call it over on the site. But this is really, really soft. And this actually, this ball band gives us a lot of information, which is nice. I wish all the ball bands were like this. Some had no ball bands at all, so it's like, I'm not sure what this is, but and there's some just kind of like a really basic, but here we have kind of like, we got that right there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that and butcher it. So we have our done there on the bottom. It says uh, one and a half ounce, 45 grams, plus or minus three. And then we have 130 yards for 120 meters. So a little bit of a discrepancy between what the website says and what the ball band says. Uh, and then here we have uh, not, chloron bleach, not chlorine bleach, don't iron at high temperature, wash with warm water, normal drying, plain unfold air, aridly. Uh, so I guess it's machine washable, uh, lay flat to dry, so air dry. Also, we have on the back here 100% acrylic, 45 grams, uh, 130 yards. Recommend metric US. So it actually gives us kind of like the recommended needle size. So this would fall in line with those numbers as like a worsted weight, like a light worsted. So uh, a 5 to 7 knitting needle or a I9 crochet hook, it looks like. But I really like this yarn, the feel of it, and the bright color. So that is Brilliant Yellow. So this is number uh, three on the list. And then we'll take a look at number four on the list. So I like this yarn. This is one I would say, you know, it's worth getting. So this one, I love this color. So it's kind of like a, a, a pastel, but like bright pastels. Uh, this one they call, what do they call this one? Uh, candy color. That's what they call this one. I really, really like it. It's a fun color. So I like this one. So there's number three and four on the list. So here. Looking down below in the description box, uh, number three and number four are these guys. All right, on to number five. So number five is a two pack of yarn right here. Um, right here. So like this one has no ball band. All that came on it when I received it was like the Timu label right here that says uh, halo dyed colorful woven thread. And it gives you kind of like really small print. Uh, two powder green yellow 200 gram. And then just like the barcode and stuff. So I added this label on here. So this is number five on the list. It's called Two Pieces Thread Smudge, Five Strand Dyed, 
uh, $5.59 was the price for this two pack. It's a two pack, uh, pink, green, yellow, total 200 grams. Each one's approximately 110 yards. This is kind of like what I got from uh, looking at it. So this is another one where we have no idea what the fiber content is. So my guess it's an acrylic, uh, some kind of man-made fiber blend is what I'm assuming and guessing. Uh, let's get it up here. So on their site, they have this labeled as a uh, two-piece thread smudge dyeing, five strands dyed milk, cotton baby sweater, self-woven scarf wool ball, medium thick wool blanket handmade, DIY knitting crochet material bag for hand knitting, DIY hats, scarves, coats, 200 grams. That's the title description. Getting all those keywords in there with this one they're doing. So um, with this one, it's 200 grams. Like going through it, like I said, I could not find anything about fiber content. They did have it where it shows you one of the images, the approximately approximate yardage and like um, weight. So each one's two hundred or each one is a hundred grams. So each one's approximately a hundred meters, uh, three hundred twenty-eight feet per yard, which that's about uh, where is that my notes on here? Altogether, two hundred nineteen yards in this. So. Divide that in half, like 200 or 110 yards. And let's take the look at the yarn outside. So it's really soft. It reminds me a lot of that one I just showed before this, the acrylic before that. Similar colors as well. I love these colors. So I like this one. Uh, the 559, a little high price for me for the two balls, I think, especially for not knowing what it is. Um, so. There is that. And then this one has a bunch of different colors available in it. That is number five on the list. So this one I only got one since it came with two balls. That can be one ball to knit with, one ball to crochet with. So. Okay, on to number six. Okay, six and seven, because we got two different colors here. The Silk Seahorse. That's what this is called. So here we have number six and seven. So these are 100 gram rolls, silk seahorse. We got number six, color number six, pink lady, and it says it's silk mohair. These are 528 a piece. And then we got number seven, which before the flowers and under the moon is the name of this colorway. I love this colorway, and it's 528. See, they're 100 gram rolls. So this one, uh, looking at it, we know from I think, yeah, the the product page actually when the image just shows you the fiber content, 55% silk mohair, 25% mercerized wool, 20% polyester fiber. 100 grams, approximately 240 meters per ball, which is about 263 yards per ball. So I'm guessing this would put it at like a number two, number three weight yarn. So this is what it looks like. Actually, let me show you number six before we look at number seven. I was so excited for that colorway. I like this colorway. So look at this color. So this is one I really like. Um, and what's on the website matches up with the fiber content. No, it doesn't. This is one where we have a discrepancy where it says, uh, the ball band just says 100% wool. Now the website said had these three different fibers. So what's the actual fiber content of this one? I'm not really sure. I do love the colors though. And the yarn is super soft. So this is the colorway Pink Lady. Um, we have it just says thread, uh, high quality knitting yarn. Then on the side here we have like the washing instructions, which are really hard to read with really small print on that background. But it looks like it is. Um, you can dry clean. It gives you ironing information, which I would not iron this. Um, it says dry in the shade, and. Place, I'm not sure. I know the symbol that 
the horizontal bar means lay flat to dry. I'm not sure. What, I can't remember what the triangle means. I think it might be for like... I can't remember. I think... Is that bleach? Don't bleach? I feel like that's that what it is. Yeah, no chlorine bleach. Um, and that P is for dry cleaning the iron. It doesn't talk about actually washing. I'm, I, would, I would say just to be safe, since we don't know what the fiber content is or anything, I would just hand wash this if you're going to wash it. But it looks really cool. So these are $5.28 sense a cake not knowing exactly what the fiber content is and everything uh, but for the colorways it's kind of like ah, I do like that so this is one I really like so we got pink lady and then I love the name of this one this is the what's this one before the flowers and under the moon this these different shades of green I love that one so this is number six and seven on the list down below and these cakes when I weighed them were right on weight everything I weighed was pretty much right on weight with what it says it was supposed to be there was no huge discrepancies so put that back in the bag so 6 and 7 okay on to the next one okay I think these two might, might be some of my favorites from this collection of yarn um, where are we at on time? Okay. So we have number eight and number nine. And it just says melange wool yarns, kind of like how it's described on the site. These are 309 a piece. Um, I got color number four, color number six. There's a bunch of different colors available. And this is really cool. So let's look at number eight. So description on their site says one piece, 3.5 ounces melange wool yarn with two pieces random needles, DIY hand knitting yarn, wool worsted yarn, two and a half millimeter, 0 0.098 inch. I'm guessing that is kind of like the, um, the size of the yarn. And this one, um, it doesn't tell you on the site what the fiber content is. All in all, it says it's three and a half ounces. It doesn't give us any yardage. Just by looking at it, it looks like it's probably a worsted weight. So let's take it out of the bag. Don't want to lose everything. So it did come with two plastic yarn needles. Here is the ball band. This is uh, camel hand knitting. And then we got some characters there of a different language. Camel. Uh, we do have it on the ball band. It says 100 grams plus or minus one, and 115 meters plus or minus one. And it's saying it's calling for a four and a half millimeter knitting needle. It's kind of hard to see. And then a five millimeter crochet hook. Um, and then for washing instructions. So it says machine washable, but it has an X through the machine washable symbol. So I'm saying hand, let's hand wash these. And then uh, in the dry, so lay flat to dry. So I just hand wash, lay flat to dry for this stuff. And then for the fiber content, it is listed right here, but I can't read that. But thankfully, I was thinking, let's see if I can like just use something on my phone. So I went to the Google app, um, just like the Google search app, and clicked on the little Google Lens. And they actually have a translate thing, which is really cool. Let me see if I can maybe show you how this works. So, on the Google app... Come on, let's open up. So I just clicked on the little um, little camera there with a dot in it. So that opens up the Google Lens. I click Translate. So then you just point your phone at the label and it translates it.
So that's how it translated that label to C. You see there, grade first class ingredient, 10% camel hair, 50% wool, 40% acrylic. Uh, public resurgence, I'm not sure what that means, says 10%. So I thought that was pretty cool. So these labels, like I don't know what it says, I can just do that and it tells me what it is. So I thought that was fun. That was my excitement when I was putting together this list. But this yarn, I really like this yarn. I would recommend this yarn. Not having worked with it, but just by feel and touch, it feels so cool. So this is what it looks like. And I love this color. This is the color number four. really nice yarn. Three dollars and nine cents, I'd say yes. This is, I'd say worth it. And then the other colorway here also came with two needles and there's that. So this is color number six on the Timu site. On the list down below this would be number nine. But really cool. This has a bunch of different colors so I can't wait to get working with this to see how it works up. I would say it's like right on par with a worsted weight. Maybe even like a heavy worsted. So, really, really cool yarn. I like it a lot. Let's get this back in this little bag. Just to keep it organized. Like, I think of all this yarn, all these yarns, I think, like, this is the first one I want to work with to see how it works up. How it looks as a hat. Definitely happening. Uh, the ball band will not go in with that, so we'll stick it in like that. Stick those in there. I like this one. So, there's that. Okay, on to the next yarn. Okay, let's see. What's the next on my list? It looks like we have, ooh, another of, like, the one. Or, no, that was not, okay, number 10. Okay. I was getting ahead of myself. I see what's next after this one I'm super excited for. So, this is number 10. A three-piece set, 100% wool, 5.29 ounce roll. Uh, the color on this one is 3FY KM2730-22 pound. And this was $8.28 for the bag. We got three balls of yarn. I believe these are all the same color. It's just the way this yarn is, is like it changes color because the, as it like progresses through. So depending on where it's wound in the ball, they're going to look different, but they're all the same color. Gotta watch my time so I don't run out here. So this one is on the website. It says 100% wool. Let's actually get over to the website and see what they have for description. Three-piece set, high-quality 100% wool yarn, hand knitting yarn, soft, comfortable yarn for DIY knitting and crocheting, scarf, sweater, doll material. 5.29 ounce roll. They have two different color packs available. I just picked this one color pack since I had three yarns. It's like, okay, we'll just do this one. It gives me yarn to hand, to knit with and crochet with. So on the website, it says 100% wool. On the ball band, it doesn't tell me what's here. Also does not give me yardage or weight or anything. It does say cool hand wash, cool iron. Uh, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, keep away from naked flame, dry, cleanable. And that's all it says on the ball band. Here's the colors. So this is um, really cool yarn. I don't know what the yardage is. We don't have that information anywhere. All I know is when I weighed these balls, they were like 48, 49, 50 gram balls. So looking at the yarn, it looks like a number one Maybe a two weight yarn. So I'm guessing maybe maybe about 200 yards per ball. Maybe you, it's so hard to say. No 50 gram balls. Number two, maybe. So I don't know. Maybe maybe 150 yards. We don't know. We don't know. So I wish they were consistent with everything and put how much um, yarn was in each ball. So you kind of know what to get. So that's one of the ways it's kind of hard to shop for yarn on Timu is you, just, you don't know what you're getting. You kind of have to take a guess at it. Um, the colors look cool. So 
there's that one. I'm gonna pause this real quick so I don't run out of time. Okay, you ready for the next one? The next one I'm super excited for. So, these didn't come with ball bands, so that makes me kind of sad, but that's okay because it's super cool and I just love the color. You ready to see it? So this is number 11 on the list down below. It's got like the color I love, that bright pink in there. So cool. So you see here, number 11, it's two pieces, silk mohair yarn. It says 30% wool, 70% acrylic. Color number one, enchanting. This is 978 for the set of two. Those two balls, we love that so much. This is one where we do know, or the, the site says what the fiber content is. Whether that's true or not, we don't know because there's nothing saying what this is on the ball or yarn. Um, but I love this color so much. Let's jump over to it here. Available in a lot of different colors. I picked up this color because I love that pink. Um, says 2% or two pieces silk mohair yarn, gradient segment dyed wool thread for DIY knitting and crocheting, DIY braided sweater, scarf, thread, 3.53 ounce of roll, 30% wool, 70% acrylic. So super soft. I could just pet this like this for who knows how long. Um, 978. Uh, one cake was 95 grams. One cake was 99 grams when I weighed it. Again, we don't know what the fiber content is. So 978, so that's like what? Just under $5 a cake. I would like to know a little bit more about the yarn, like as far as how much yarn is in here. We don't know, but I do love the color of that, so. Yeah. That pink gets me every time. Kind of matches my shirt. Uh, there's that. So that is number 11 on the list down below, if you are interested in it. My bin, uh, I'm putting the yarns in the big full, so. Here's the first bin of yarn. Okay, on to the next. So, 12 and 13. These are cool yarns. I like these. Uh, so, we got 12 and 13 here. So, this says alpaca wool soft, uh, 3.5 ounces, 153 yards, 289 a piece. So, I really like the price on this one. I, I'm not even going to try pronouncing those colorway names, but we got color 23, which is like a deep green, and 45, which is this purple color. Uh, I like this yarn. So, a bunch of different colors available. The description on this is one piece alpaca, well, one piece alpaca wool soft warm knitting and worsted alpaca wool crochet yarn for DIY knitting and crocheting sweater, hats, scarves, gloves, handcraft. 5,511 inches, three and a half ounces. So doing the math, that's about 150 yards for a, about a 100 gram ball. Uh, this one, when I weighed it, number, tw uh, number color number 23, this one weighed 96 grams. The other one weighed 101 grams. So right on that, but this yarn is so cool. It's kind of like a heathered look to it. So we got like green and blue. I love that. This is another one where I used the Google Translate to translate the fiber content. Came up saying alpaca 70%, high fine wool 20%, then others 10%. But the squish on this is amazing. I'm making a hat with this one. I just love this colorway. I want it in a hat. So I'll be doing that. I'll treat it as a worsted weight yarn. Oh. And we didn't really need to translate because right below we have it in English. So you see there, alpaca 70%, high fine wool 20%, others 10%. So I love that. So this is color number 23. And down below on the list, this is number 12. And then number 13 down below, which is color number 45 on the Timu site. And I didn't show you the ball band. We have, it says romantic country sheep camel hair that 
and this is, I love this colorway as well. So soft and squishy. So I would say another one that I would say is this is one of those buy buy this yarn. Just for like my initial impression, I'd say get some of this yarn. This one's good. So get those back in their little bags. So that's 12 and 13 down below on the list. They have a bunch of other colors available as well. So go check it out. Okay, so that takes us down to number 14 and 15 in my list. These two, I'm disappointed with. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm not happy with this one. Uh, they look cool, but they're so small and like looking at my list, I have no idea what the content is. I have no idea what the meterage yardage is all I know is they're 1.76 ounces which that's roughly 50 grams and when I weighed them one ball was 57 grams one was 55 grams um, so we have right here if we look at I'll show you number 14 and 15 the same so number 14 one ball color gradient cotton 1.76 ounce that's what the description says. One ball, colorful gradient cotton thread, super soft textured knitting crochet yarn for hand knitting, crocheting hat, jacket, scarf, dowel bag, sweater, 1.76 ounce roll. Um, the color here is, what's that colorway called? I don't think these colors are available that I picked out. But this is Runyo Celadon 50 gram. And it's 4.48. So the price on this, I think, is way too much for what we get for as, for not knowing how much we get or the content of the yarn. And this one here was called Wine Stained Bayberry. So the yarns look really cool. I just wish there was more of it and I knew what exactly what it was. Um, but there's that. This is number 14 on the list down below. It's really soft and looks really cool. There's like what the strand looks like. So it's like two colors twisted together. Um, and here's number 15. So. Looks cool. I just wish there was more of it for this price. Because 448 for this, I'm like, and I don't know. Especially since it's a mystery. There's no ball band, nothing on it, just that. Okay. That takes us to 16 and 17. Hey, these are fun little balls. So we have 16 right here. This says 100% wool rainbow yarn, 50 grams. Uh, does that say 180 meters? 01 and 309. You can kind of see what my handwriting looks like. And then here we have number 17. 100% wool rainbow yarn, 50 grams, 180 meters. This is color number 12, 309. This one I like I like for the price and what we get. I'm happy with this one. So let's get to it. Okay. So we look at 16 and 17. So it says 100% wool. 1.76 ounces, 197 yards, 180 meters, approximately 197. Plus this one also lives, let me read the description because this does give us the inches. So one roll, 100% wool yarn rainbow color for hand knitting, crochet, hand woven thickness, wool and yarn, uh, wool and yarn, crocheting, shawl, thread, 1.76 ounce, 7,086 inches. Which looking through, I was able to find they have a page, they have an image here that says 100% fine wool, and then 50 grams, 180 meters, 197 yards. It gives you suggested crochet, si crochet, crochet hook size, knitting needle size, 
Also, it says, you know, they call it dosage reference. About four to five groups of a single collar neck, so I'm guessing that's what they mean, like a cowl. Six to seven groups, adult normal size scarves. Seven to eight groups, large shawls. Nine to ten groups, long tassel shawls. Ten to twelve groups, a woman's jacket of average size. So, I don't think mean like one ball as like one group. I don't know. But I like this yarn. Doing the translating thing on the ball band, it came out 100% uh, super fine wool, which the site says 100% fine wool, so I'm happy with that. I love, it's one of those like color changing, so it changes color as you knit. I like this one. And $3.09 for 50 grams of, I'd say like, one of my devices just started talking in the other room. Um, 50 grams, 180 meters, so for three dollars, say this is like a number one weight yarn. I like it. This is one to say I'd get this yarn. So that's color number one, which down below on the list is number 16. And then I love when they do like the green and purple together. In my head, when I see this color combination, I always think of the Joker from Batman. Just the green and the purple and the white. It's like, oh, that's the Joker. So, I picked up this one. This is color number... What color number is this one? Color number 12 on the Timu site, which is going to be number 17 down below on my list. If you like this and want to get some, go get some. I like it a lot. So... And three dollars and nine cents. I like this. Also, they have a deal where if you buy six, you can save ten percent. It says on the site, so I like that one. Okay, so that's sixteen and seventeen. Now we're down to eighteen and nineteen. Some more mystery yarn. All we know here is how much it weighs. So let's pull this up. So this is section dyed gradual change mohair wool for crocheting and knitting. Soft gloves, hat, coat, scarf, doll, bag, blanket, pillowcase, cushion, colorful gradual change rainbow DIY hand knitting line. Then it says 39 to 47 inch 1.76 roll, which I'm not sure where the inches come in because there's definitely more than just like a yard of yarn in, in these cakes. Um, but here we have cake 18 and cake 19 in my list down below. I do love the colors. So here we have number 18. It says mohair wool in the description. Is that actually what's here? I don't know. Because nowhere on the page does it talk about what it is. All we have is the weight, 50 grams. And that's it. It does say um, tips. There's an image on the side that says tips. Glove require half to one group. Scarves require one to three groups. Hat requires one ball. Overcoat requires three to seven balls. Weight specification, 50 grams, plus or minus five. When I weighed these... These came in at 51 grams and 54 grams, so they're right on um, what they're weighed. 18, number 18 here, this color is called Fenders. And number 19, this color is called Sweetened Peaches. So let's take out the bag. Super soft, really cool yarn. Uh, the price on these are $3.28 a roll. For not knowing really anything at all about this, that price I'm kind of like... It's it's not a bad price. Oh look, it's got like a heart. So I do love the color. I love the feel of this yarn. It is super soft. Lots of halo on it. Um, I just wish we kind of knew more about this yarn. So there's the color Fenders. Really light pastel colors. And for Sweet and Peaches. There's the color for sweetened peaches. So if you like this yarn, I don't think 
Uh, the Fender's color is available. I don't know if the other color is available or not. When I looked on the site, when I was putting together my list. Looks like this color is out of stock right now. Um, but $3.28. So. I wish I knew a little bit more about this yarn because I'd say it's a buy, but with the mystery of it, I'd be on the fence about it. But 328 it's not bad, but I wish we knew a little bit more about what was in this yarn and like how much is how much of this how much yarn there is in these cakes. Um, but that is uh, 18 and 19 down below on my list. Again, if you go over and want to get these all pulled up in Timo where you can just easily add to cart. Let me look that up real quick. Wanna make sure. So if you search Joy9924 over in on the Timu site or on the Timu app, um, it'll list everything here so you can easily add to car if you see something you like. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's go back to my list here. So that was 18, 19. Now we're down to 20 and 21. Where are you at? Oh, so these ones, I like these a lot. I love the colors of these. So these are number 20 on my list. So this is, they call pumpkin ball yarn, 50 grams, 153 yards. Uh, this is color 1108 over on Timu's site. And this was $3.48 a ball. And then we have color number 1113, which is number 21 on my list down below, 348. So the description on this from uh, the Timu site says, let me get one of these out of the I, just, I really like this one. I like the little like tag on it. It's like a pumpkin leaf, like a leaf. So it's kind of like, it looks like a little pumpkin, like a little pumpkin ball. So I like this one. So it says one piece pumpkin ball yarn, medium fine cotton yarn for DIY knitting and crocheting, sweater hat, scarf, thread. Handwoven DIY thread crochet hook yarn cotton 44% or okay let me go back let me cotton 44% acrylic 40% wool 6% nylon 10% is the content of this which is on the ball as well so cotton 44% acrylic 40% wool 6% nylon 10% color number lot number really super soft. I like this yarn a lot. I wish these balls were a little bit bigger, but I like it. So $3.48. This is one I'd say I would add to your cart. Bunch of different colors. It looks like this color though is not available right now, which makes me sad. But other colors are available. So this is number 1108 which on my list down below is number 20 and here's number 21 on the list down below which is color 1113 on the Timu site I like how this feels feels good I like that one On to the next. We're down to number 21. Nope, we're on to 22 now. If you're wondering how many there are, I think I have 35 different labels I wrote up last night. So we're, we've passed the halfway point, but we've still got ways to go. Okay. 22. This is a mystery for the fiber content. I'm not sure what it is, but it says two piece, five strand rainbow milk cotton, total 96 grams, 232 yards. Colorway color is called powdered sugar flower. 
and it's three dollars forty eight cents for the bag of two balls. So let's go over to the site here. Get that pulled up. Website description says. Um, actually, this one does have a description on it. Why didn't I write that in my notes? Because it's not on the ball band. But it is in the description I see here. So two pieces, five strands, rainbow, milk, cotton, yarn, assorted colors, 70% acrylic, 30% wool, blended soft yarn for hand crochet and knitting, suitable for knitting, hats, scarves, gloves, etc. 1.69 ounce piece. And so each one's supposed to be 48 grams. When I weighed these together, it ended up being, I think one must have been like 48, one was 49. So we have um, 97 grams altogether of this yarn. Here's how the yarn looks. As you can see there, it's kind of strands just twisted together. I love the colors of this one. Not as soft as some of the other ones similar to this, but it is nice. I like it. Uh, the price three forty eight. I'd say it's a pretty good price for about a hundred grams of yarn here. Uh, I'd say this is number four medium weight yarn. And here we have our hook and needle recommendations. So that's what they're calling for. So on par with the worsted weight yarn. So I got that. So down below my list, this is number twenty two. They've got a few different colors of this available. So if you like that. Go check it out. Anything else in my notes on that one? Um, nope. 96 grams, 232 yards, 348. Okay, that's 22 on to 23 and 24. So these are similar yarns here, as you can see. So 23, 24. DIY gradient, multicolor yarn, 1.76 ounce, 196 yards, 100% wool. Color number 11 on Timu's site, $3.28 for the ball. And then this is color number 34. Um, down below my list, they're going to be number 23 and 24. You'll find these. So this, let's look at the first one here. Let's get up here on the site. So it says on the site, DIY gradient multicolor yarn for knitting, crocheting, high quality sweater and scarf, 100% wool, rainbow soft yarn, hand knitting, 1.76 ounce, 7,086 inches a piece. So that's going to be about 196 yards. So 50 gram ball, 196. This is a fingering weight yarn. And it's two dollars and ninety-eight cents a ball, so I say that's a pretty good price. Actually, it looks like the price changed from when I did it last night to when I did it today. So prices might fluctuate. What I tell you in this video to actually go click at it, like when I record all these prices, this was as of uh, on nine twenty-three when I made my list, and I'm recording this on nine twenty-four. And you can see here, this is one where the price changed from three twenty-eight to two ninety-eight. But here we have, uh, gives us information right there. So what's on the ball band matches the website, 50 grams, 180 meters. Right here we have 100% import wool. There's that there. It's nice and soft. I love this color changing yarn like this. So as you knit, just the colors gradually go from one to the next. I love that so much. And I love the greens and yellows and blues. So I like this yarn. You have it here. Rainbow line, smiles. Or smile so fashion gradient I like it so this is one I would say get this yarn so that is color number 11 which down below in the description box would be number 23 and here's number 24 um, this is gonna be orange yellows and greens I love this yarn really really like it so nice and soft it's a good one. And this is number 34 over on the Timu site. And it's going to be number 24 on my list down below. Let me 
go to another bin to put the rest of the yarn in. So that's 24. Okay. Now we're going to 25. 25. Okay. So we have 25 and 26. Here. Actually, I'm going to pause this real quick just because I'm getting close to my time limit. Okay, now we're ready for 25 and 26. So, yeah, here. These are one piece warm color space dyed. It says 65% cotton, 35% wool. Color 404. This was 348. Let's see if that's still the same price. Yep, 348 right now. Or not. I said 404, it's supposed to be A04. My A last night looked like a 4 when I wrote it. So A04 and A05 are the two colors here. Looks like these two colors are not currently available, but they have some other colors available in this yarn. Um, so let's look at this one here. This is one where it comes with no ball band, so it's kind of like, ah, what is this? Um, but looking at the website, it does say it is 65% cotton and 35% wool. It does not give us any amount of weight or yardage that we're going to get when you buy this. All it has is just a picture of a ball, and you kind of have to guess, like, am I getting 50 grams, 100 grams? Like, is it number one weight, three weight, four weight? It's kind of hard to tell. So... This is when I wish they would do a better job with the website and give us more information. Be Just be consistent and give us, you know, the weight of the ball. How much yarn, like the length is it, you know, whether it's, I could take meters, but give us either meter or yardage, you know. Is it a number one, a number three, a number four, a number five weight yarn? And that information would be nice. Um, but it looks really cool when they have it knit up because it's got kind of like, big sections of cream but then you got other colors kind of in with it so it looks cool they show examples of it knitted up on their site and it looks really cool knit up so it's 348 with it being so much of an unknown i would kind of maybe stay away from this one even though it does look really cool i just have no no idea how much yarn's here well i do know how much because i weighed it and they're 50 gram balls so my guess is it'd be like the other ones where 50 grams is going to be about, you know, 150 yards. 150 to 200 yards. So I'm guessing it's probably like a number one to number two weight yarn. And then here is A05, which is going to be number 26 down below in my list. So I do like the look of it and the feel of it. I just wish I knew exactly what's all here. 25 and 26. So now for the next two things, we're going to take a break from yarn. And I did pick these up. These aren't yarn, but they're yarn related. Um, and these are little yarn cozies. So I grabbed this one here. This is number 27 Halloween. This was 298. That's what it looks like. I'll take it out of the package and show you more and this is number 28 this is a got a christmas themed or like wintertime theme with some little gnomes and this one is a dollar 79 right now so and how these work is they've got a little bit of a stretch to them and then do I have? Let's see here. What can I throw it on? Let me kind of show you how it goes. So, you can either put it on a cake or a ball of yarn. So, we'll take this ball right here I showed you earlier. And you could go like this. This one's kind of small size. Uh, let's stretch out here. And yeah, this one, no. <laughs> it's more for cakes, I'd say. I use, I've had some before in the past, and I use them as cakes. So there's how that would go on that one. Let's get one of the cakes here. I do have a cake laying around close by. Yeah, I got 
this right here. So, random yarn on my desk. I'm not really sure what this is, but so I have in this cake here. What I can do is I take this little cozy and put it around the cake. So, it just keeps your cake kind of protected and kind of in the cake shape so it doesn't all fall apart. So that's all that is. So I thought these were kind of fun so I grabbed little Christmas gnomes and then this one I thought was really cool. Halloween theme with like the rainbow colors. So I love it. So those are those little cozies. Which are going to be number 27 and 28 down below. So the number 27 down below on my list. And this one is number 28 on my list. So if you like those, go order them. Okay, now back to yarn. We're almost at the end. or We're getting there. We're getting close. Number 29. So this one, I got two of these. So I'm guessing I must have picked a different colorway. And they were out of that color. So they just sent me two of this one. So I got two number 29s. So this is, let me see here, three and a half ounce, 60% wool, 40% man made fiber, green, 437 yards, $5.28. So this one, I got my weight, I've got the yardage. I like this one. Uh, let's pull it up here. Uh, $5.28 is the price on these for 100 grams, 437 yards, so that would be a number one weight yarn. Um, this one's actually easier to get into. They're the same color, but it's one of those, depending on where you're at in the yarn ball, it's going to change, gradually change color as you knit or crochet with it. So you can see the orange in there peeking out, but I like this. It's nice and soft, it feels great. It gives us the needle sizes, so they're saying a US 0 or 2 uh, needle. It's definitely a number one weight yarn. Lace ball, plus or minus 100 grams, and then slash 400, so I'm guessing 400 meters. But the only thing is like, the site says 60% wool, I'll read the description, 3.5 three ounce, 60% wool rainbow yarn for crocheting. 40% man-made fiber acrylic yarn for knitting, colorful lana, knit, sweater, shawl, hat, line, crochet, scarf, bag, blanket, threads, 400 meters, 1,000 or 15,748 inches. Um, but then we look at the ball band and it says animal fiber 100%. So what's the actual fiber content of this yarn? I don't know, but I do like the feel of it. I like the look of it. So if you're someone that doesn't have an allergy to fibers, go ahead and make something with it. If you're someone that is sensitive, allergies to fibers might be one to stay away from. But $5.28 for 100 grams, 437 yards, I'd say this is a good one. So there's that. And down below on the, my list in the description box, if you want to get this, it is number 29. I got two of those because I'm guessing I picked a different color for the second one and they were out. So that leads us on to 30 and 31. We're almost to the end. So this is 30 or number 30 alpaca hand woven wool, 10% uh, alpaca, 90% acrylic, 1.76 ounce. This color is called Salmon Pink, and it's $3.78 when I wrote up the label last night, and it's still $3.78. So, website says one piece alpaca hand woven wool, 10% alpaca, 90% acrylic, soft warm wool yarn for DIY crocheting and knitting sweaters and shawl, 1.76 ounce, $3.78. And amount of yarn, I'm all I know is we have 50 grams, but I don't know what the yardage is. Look at number 30 first. I really like this color. So it's got kind of like, that is how it's made up. And then we have like just different colors flex throughout. 
really super soft, really, really fluffy and fuzzy. It looks really cool. I just wish I knew how much yarn I had in the ball. Um, I would say probably because of it's so thick and fluffy, it probably work as like a number three, number four yarn. Um, but I don't know the weight on it. But I do like kind of like the flex, different colors of flex throughout it. So that's number 30. And then number 31 is called Brass Green is the color name. So this is a deep green color with different color flex in it. So it looks really cool. I just wish I knew more about this yarn. No ball bands or anything on it. All that came on it was this Timu label right there, right here, and this this little warning for the plastic bag. So, that one, if you like mysteries, maybe check it out, but all we know is it's 10% alpaca, 90% acrylic, and it's 50 gram balls. That's 30 and 31. Okay, what's next? Need another sip of coffee. This is 32 and 33 from my list down below. We're almost to the end. If you've made it this far, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you see some yarns you like. You wanna head out over to Timu and Sign up if you haven't signed up before, or if you have been signed up, get some stuff. Again, if you want to use code, let me pull up that code again. Search JOY9924, it adds the coupon bundle to your account, and also has oh, all the yarns I've showed so you can easily add it to your cart. But there's 3234, mohair yarn, 55% mohair, 25% acrylic, 20% nylon. 142 yards, 1.76 ounce. I got color number one and color number six is what I picked out. Uh, 298 a ball, and the number 32 and number 33 on my list down below. So. Website says color dot mohair yarn, soft plush colored dots for DIY crocheting and knitting, sweater and shawl, 55% mohair, 25% acrylic fibers, 20% mercerized nylon. And it gives us 5,118 inches for 1.76 ounces. Uh, so that's going to be about 140 yard, 141 yards. So looking at the ball band. We can kind of see, I'm trying to see if it tells us. Okay, yeah, the next one we can see the fiber kind of, because they got like a sticker over some of it. Um, there's what the yarn looks like. So the yarn, not the softest. I mean, it is soft, but you can kind of feel the different texture of the yarn. So it's got texture to it. So there's Every Shine Kid Mohair. Two ninety eight is the price on this. Uh, there's the wash instructions. Not chloride. Not, I want to say chlorine. I don't know why I do. Why does my head say chlorine? Chlorine. Not chlorine bleach, so don't bleach it. Dry clean or hand wash gently. Dry in shade. Plain unfold arid. So lay flat to dry. There's the wash instructions. This size here shows us the fiber content, which I'll show you in the other colorway what the fiber content is. But that's what it looks like. That one. And then here is number 33 on my list. So this one we can actually see the fiber content. So it says 55% kid mohair, 25% acrylic fibers, and then is that, let's see here, 20% moisturized nylon. So that's what it looks like there. A really furry, fluffy yarn. Again, those are two ninety eight a ball. And we made it to the end. These are the final yarns. So 
number 34 and 35 on my list down below in the description box. We have Thin Soft Alpaca Mohair. It says 20% alpaca, 10% wool, 50% acrylic, 20% imitation mohair nylon. Uh, color number 22, 1.76 ounce, 415 yards, $2.98. I got, so, 22 is this colorway. And then color 02, or 2, is this colorway. Let's take a look at these. So I'd say this is like lace weight yarn. Because for 50 grams, you're getting 400 yards. So. It is, so there is a strand of the yarn, so you can see there it's very, very fine weight, really fluffy yarn. So it says alpaca fiber, golden ratio, soft, comfortable, warm, and then alpaca 20%, wool 10%, acrylic fibers 50%, imitation mohair, nylon 20%. Uh, 50 grams. There's that. So, super, super soft. So let's say for what we're getting for three dollars, I'd say not a bad deal. So I got that color number 22. They got a bunch of different colors available. And then I grabbed this color here. This color two on their site. It's kind of like a, a, a natural color. It's like a light cream. There's that. And that's everything. You can see my big bag is empty now. So that was all the yarn Timu sent me. If you see something you like, I have the links down below where you can go directly to one of those items. Or like I said, if you use the code, search the code or search JOY9924 over on the Timu site or in the Timu app, it'll pull up everything here so you can easily add it to the cart so you can see everything that I showed you and just boom, 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 and then check out. Also, that code JOY9924 will give you a $100 coupon bundle to use for purchases over on Timu. That's everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Timu, for sending this stuff to me. Lots of yarns to play with here. Um, I will try to squeeze them in here and there over the next few weeks, months or so with some of my yarn projects I'm working on just to try to see what knits up and crochets up like. So if you set through this and watched all of it, thank you so much. This is a long video, but I got quite a bit of yarn here. So thank you, Timu, and thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.